All right, Subi friends, we're going to do part two of part three of our spring maintenance cleaning, repair, diff, transfer, case, fluid, change, oil. I'm not doing this over again. We're doing something today. Oh, yeah, that's a good smell. Oh, that smells like ass. You're going to transfer it. You're going to pump out the oil from your gear. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's cool. It's super convenient. But I think I would rather have a magnetic plug. That way I can see what's happening when the oil is coming out. I mean, this is super convenient. I do like it. It's also really slow. It's obviously going to be slow because it flows out of this small little hole. I mean, for the price, it's cool. I think I'll keep it for a little bit longer, but I might end up going back to using the magnetic plug just on the safe side to see what's up. So I already got the car off the ground, as you can see behind me, and I got my tools laid out. Let me show you what we're going to do. I feel like I never have enough room. All right, now we kind of got all of our tools laid out for our rear diff oil change. I gotta remember the microphone is over here. Not over here. Okay. So what we're gonna use today is a 24 millimeter socket. We're gonna use the half inch drive all the way around. Cause underneath of the car, half inch is your friend. We got a 17 millimeter to get the drain bolt out. This is actually for the fill plug. It also has a sensor on it so that you're gonna need a deep socket so that it goes over that sensor. Because we got a half inch drive, we got our handy dandy oil, because we're going to need that for sure. We're using the mode tool, I'm sure you can read it. We got a breaker bar. Hold on there, Subi friends. Now, you are absolutely going to need to have two quarts of this oil on hand. We got a breaker bar to break loose that one fill bolt, maybe whatever. We got our breaker bar, and we got our torque. I'm not sure if I need the bigger one or the small one, but I know the bigger one's a lot easier. We also got our two gaskets for the rear. These are the part numbers. I just went over the Subaru and they pulled it off for me. Side note, let me tell you. Hold on. Take the time, go to Subaru. Get the right gaskets. Do not get these off of Amazon because you're gonna pay three times as much as you normally would. True story, I looked it up. It's a very good rule to replace all of your gaskets. They're cheap, they're easy. Don't, just don't reuse the old one. We also got a fluid transfer pump. So what this is gonna do is gonna have, you're gonna transfer, you're gonna pump out the oil from your gear. You're gonna pump out your gear oil into the diff using this. 90% of the time I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. I also felt like sharing this because why not? So I found this plug, and you know what this plug goes to? My old cell phone. Check this out. And you know what? It still works. I actually painted this phone so that it matches the truck. This one. Pretty dope, right? So I get out of the truck, you're like, yo! Oh. Dude, that click is so satisfying. Fun times. We also got the gasket for the front diff. Pick those up at the Subaru dealership as well. I'll go over those in the other video. All right, car's up in the air. Time to get going because it's getting warm out here. All right, as you can see here, this is the rear diff. This is the drain plug. This is our fill plug. General rule, actually very important rule. Undo your fill plug before you undo your drain plug because, well, if you drain all your oil and you can't get your fill plug out, you're pretty much fucked. We're gonna wanna get the fill plug out before the drain. Once we get the fill out, then we're safe to pull this drain out. Like I said, we don't wanna be able to pull this guy out and not the top one or else we're gonna be screwed here, so. I always recommend breaking loose the fill bolt. Now, if you do the opposite and you remove the drain bolt um, and all the oil comes out and then you can't get the fill bolt off, you're in deep drain plug. We're gonna go ahead and remove this top one first with a so I'm just gonna take a flat hit, pop it right there. Should pop right out. Set that aside. Double check that it is a 24 that we need. Feels good. Let's 
17 looks good. Also, your drain pan ready. Oh, look at that, it just fits right over it nicely. All right, didn't break anything. Good start. Now we broke that loose. Now these were not on super tight on my car, so you might not even need a breaker bar. You know, a breaker bar would have been easier, but hold up. Let's go get some gloves. I'm just gonna turn it. Oh, a little air is coming out of you. You just queefed. It doesn't look so bad. I will say. Oh yeah, that's a good smell. All right, I think I need to let this drain. Cool music time lapse. Yes, it is. As you can see in there, our old crush washer is still stuck in there. Make sure you remove it. Get you out of there. Just pops right out. These are the two old ones. Let's go over to the bench. Dip sensor plug. Got that out. Wasn't too hard. We also got our two old washers and we got our fill plug. Sorry, this is our drain plug. Actually, let me bring this out here until the sun. You guys can see it better. So we got out our magnetic drain plug, which in a way acts like a filter by filtering out all of the metal shavings that are floating around in your diff oil. And it doesn't look too bad, but we're gonna clean it off before we put it back in. All right, I just cleaned off our diff sensor just a little bit. Got all the metal off of our magnetic drain plug. Now we're about ready to go back under there. baby spout but you can't quite get that up and in there properly which is why you're going to use that fluid transfer doodad so we're going to grab our fluid transfer pump we're going to place one end of the hose into the gear oil and then the other end of the hose is going into the dip now we just got to pump in the new fluid into our dip we're gonna keep pumping. We're gonna keep pumping until we start seeing oil flow out of the fill plug. And that's when you know it's time to stop. All right, I got you, I got you. I'm just gonna give it a little bit so it drains out just a tad. Oh, that's some cheap shit. But not really because this oil is pretty expensive and we can't really afford to waste it. All right, I got about three pumps, kind of like me, until this started flo flowing out, which is pretty good. So it took like a quart and a little bit more, and about three pumps of the other one. All right, now that we're all done under here, got both bolts, top and bottom, torqued down to spec, which is 35 foot-pounds of torque. We connected our diff sensor. All right, so you know we're done under here. All right, Subi friends, and it is getting toasty out here. Look at that, I'm sweating a little bit. We're gonna do the front tomorrow. Right now, I'm gonna go inside and watch some Netflix. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching, peace out.